Nice. Thanks. Next week, a group of students will have a new place to call home. Our reporter Morgan Stevens is live at a new shelter in Koreatown that will house homeless college students. Morgan. That's right. I'm here right now on Normandy Avenue in Koreatown, where the USC Trojan Shelter is located. It's about a 10 minute drive or a 20 minute bus ride from USC's campus. Now, this is the shelter where the six students that have been chosen will be housed starting next Friday. The neighborhood is, is very residential. There's a community center across the street. There's a church next door and there's apartments all around. I went to the grand opening last week and I spoke with students who are running the program. Take a look. This will soon be home for six students who are homeless right now. USC Trojan Shelter is a student-run program that will house and feed homeless college students. Last week, they celebrated their grand opening by welcoming visitors to tour it. Abigail Lung is one of two students who founded Trojan Shelter. She started it after hearing someone speak about working with student shelters. I remember sitting in that class and um, having Lewis, the co-founder of Bruin Shelter, um, come as a guest speaker and just being really struck by um, the numbers for college homelessness. Homeless students from any California college or university can apply to the shelter as long as they're enrolled in two units of courses. Each student is housed for one academic year on a rolling basis. Trojan Shelter also also takes student volunteers who cook meals. The program will feature dorm style housing for six students with three meals a day. Each night students and volunteers arrive at 7 p.m. and leave by 7 a.m. The shelter also provides each student with two caseworkers to help with job prep and mental health counseling. Matthew Lee has been involved with Trojan Shelter from the beginning. Hearing stories of struggling students motivated him to get involved. I like this one really resonated with me is that one of her students couldn't buy her textbook because she had to pick between a mattress or a textbook so she could sleep. Lee says it's challenging to turn down students in need because of limited space. And so kind of our guiding star is who can we help the most with our programs? Just because we understand that college homelessness specifically is very case by case. The first round of students have already been selected and they will move in next Friday. For Annenberg Media, I'm Morgan Stevens. Back to you guys in the studio.